Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is number 30, I can't believe it's 30 already, of my Powerful Tools of Affinity series. And today we're going to talk about the channel mixer. There's so many things you can do with the channel mixer, but I'll show you just one in this particular tutorial so it won't go on so long. Before I do, can you please click that like and subscribe button? I really appreciate it and it helps my channel. Thanks so much and let's get started. So I'm pulling in a photo and I typed into the stock photos in Unsplash fall scene and I'm going to bring this scene in and it doesn't matter what size document you have because this will change when we pull this in. So I'm going to pull this in. I have the link to this photo in the description below in case you want to use the same photo. And of course the photo is too big for this so all I have to go do is document clip canvas, and it makes the canvas the exact size of the photo. So now you could see the whole thing. So what we're going to try and do in this tutorial is change this from a fall scene to a spring or summer scene. So what we'll go do right now is go to the adjustments and slide up until we see channel mixer. And in channel mixer, we have, we're, we're set for RGB. And there, there's red, green, blue, and alpha. Don't touch any of the others. Just go to red. And on red, what we want to do, instead of 100, we are going to change this to minus 100. And in green, we are going to change this to 100. That would be a plus 100. And in blue, we will change this to 100. And when we get that, that's a starting point. But we really are better off. That's OK as it is. But we can also go to darken, which I think makes it look more realistic. And we can cut back the opacity if we want. We could do it here, or we can do it on the actual channel up here. We can go like this and cut the opacity down here. And we have this on darken. If you feel like you want to try other things, you can. But it's, it's really that simple. So if you don't want the full green like that, you can go here and also if you want to keep this the way it is and then afterwards we can try to go to curves and maybe brighten the whole thing up a little bit more like that more of a summery look we could still keep the darkness and the shadows right here and that it's as simple as that so I hope you like this tutorial please click that like and subscribe and have a great day thanks so much bye